in our party today. I'm Steve Lucca. I am the soon to be retired president of the Minnesota Blue Society. I'd like to welcome everyone to our annual holiday party and business meeting. And we have several Hall of Fame awards that are going to be given out today. My theme for the day is my last round of winter because in a few weeks I will be retired from Minnesota Blue Society and uh, you'll have to pick on someone else after that. Uh, in 2013, I began working as a volunteer with the Blue Society because I wanted to get to meet people. Uh, I worked at, usually at the door where people were coming in. So I got to meet a lot of people and then in 2015, I went to the International Blues Challenge in Memphis for the first time. And after that, I faced several intensive interrogations. And then I was asked to uh, join the board to fill in a vacancy, a uh, vacancy for Linnea, if everybody remembers her. Uh, so then I did four years as a director on the board, followed by four years as president and now I am sliding into retirement. I, soon after joining the board, I became the organizer of the Road to Memphis competitions and fundraisers, and I wanted to talk about the Road to Memphis because I don't think people really understand how much goes into that. All of the rules are laid out by the Blues Foundation in Memphis, and if you go to their website, just blues.org, you can find all of those rules for local competitions. Uh, we put out the notice and bands, can, bands and solo duo acts sign up. Once we have the bands signed up, then we send out all of the paperwork as far as the scoring and criteria and the rules and everything else, make sure everybody knows what's going on. It all has to be done exactly as prescribed by the, the Blues Foundation. Uh, then we have to choose judges who don't have conflicts with the musicians who are going to be competing. Then we have the competition and we choose our winners that will be going to Memphis. So we like to tell them that if you go to Memphis, you're already a winner and you're competing against other winners from around the world. One thing that people don't understand is we send a band to Memphis, we have a chance to really affect their careers in music. And that's one of, one of the few ways that we have a chance to really affect people's music careers and to really help them. They have to help themselves by networking in Memphis, uh, but we're giving them that opportunity. Then we have a series of fundraisers and provide them with a very good chunk of money for their week in Memphis. And again, we are helping them further their music careers. So this is a very, very important thing we do, and I, I don't think people really understand the extent of the work that goes into it. Once I started with Road to Memphis, I knew I was gonna need help. I asked Kathy Crowder to work with me on my committee, and she agreed to do it. She has been, <clears throat> A very valuable resource over the years. She always has a smile. She's always reassuring. She's always helpful in every way. I don't know how many of you people really know how much she means to the Minnesota Blue Society. And I want to thank Kathy for all of the help she's given me over the years. Well, I talked about being on the board since 2013. Uh, we've all gone through a lot of changes in the last 10 years of our lives. We were forced by the pandemic years to make a lot of changes, and we were afraid that we wouldn't have any music venues left by the time we got through that. Fortunately, we came through it, and we are in a period of relative prosperity as far as getting our members back. We've kept some of our venues, not all of them. But 
our membership really plunged, of course, when there was no place to go and nothing to do, but now it's coming back. I'd like to introduce the members of the board right now, and all of these people do a tremendous amount of work for you, keeping things organized, keeping the membership rules up to date, uh, doing the, the website, the calendar, everything else that you see every day, plus all of the events, the picnic, the holiday party, the road to Memphis, all of that, and people that are strictly volunteers working for you. You can approach any of them with your questions, but please be kind to them and realize that they are full-time volunteers working for you 100% of the time. So I will begin with Sue Bujo. She's standing there with a hat. She is the Vice President of the Blue Society. She is responsible for the new website that you see and for the new calendar that you see. I do a lot of the updating of the calendar, but she's the one that figured out, that saw the Talkify app that we use and that's used by other Blue Societies for their calendar. And boy, it's a lot easier to use, especially for me putting data into it than our old system was. And that's, that's why we went to it. And we can change things at any minute rather than having to wait until the next week to change things. So Sue is uh, our organizer. She's created planners for every one of our events. So that we know what we did last time and what we need to do the next time we have an event. Thank you, Sue. And right down here we have John Hoag, who is our membership director. All of the uh, membership, new memberships and membership renewals go through him. And he keeps a huge database that uh, sends, and then he sends out renewal notices to everyone every year. And he puts in a ton of work for us uh, behind the scenes. Most people don't know John, but he has a crucial role in the Blue Society. Thank you, John. And we have Barry Tannenbaum, and I don't know what to say about Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Barry is uh, another one of our directors. He's been on the board this year. Uh, he had one other short stint on the board a few years back. Uh, he is working on uh, updating our sponsorships and getting new sponsors for the Society. Uh, he runs his Thursday night jam at the Rose Town Legion. And he, uh, he has a new band co going on called B4. If you see that name, go out and see him. Thank you, Barry. <laughs> right next to Barry, we have Lynn Mortensen. She is a resident of Rochester, Minnesota. And then getting her on the board gave us an opportunity to have a better connection with the southern part of the state. She also books bands at Brothers Bar and Grill down there. She has a ton of contacts in the music industry because she was the primary organizer of the Hamburg Music Festival for years. And she keeps us in touch with what's going on with what's going on outside of the Twin Cities. And that is very valuable to us. Thank you, Lynn. And next to Lynn is Deb Hills. Deb is our longest serving board member. She was our recording secretary. She's a graphic artist. Uh, she handles our marketing and advertising and every other job that no one else can handle. She does it. Uh, as I said, longest serving board member that we've ever had. So we really appreciate everything Deb does for us. <laughs> Then around the corner, we have Marty Henschel, who's been on the board for, what, two years ago, Marty? Okay. Uh, after I made one of my pleas for volunteer help at a holiday party a couple years ago, he came up and volunteered to help us because he was newly retired, and he had some skills as a, an attorney, and uh, it just 
the, the main skill is that he's really, really friendly pe person that loves to talk to everyone, and that is what we need. We need to bring more people in. We need to bring make people comfortable with us and increase our membership. And uh, he is very much an expert at that. So thank you, Marty. And then at the end, we have Bill Whalen, our newest board member, who stepped in to fill the vacancy uh, earlier this year. And uh, I think everyone knows Bill from his music background. You might not know that he's a retired mechanical engineer, has great computer skills. He is helping us in a lot of different ways. And uh, he will be, he'll be with the board for quite some time, we hope. Thank you, Bill. Yeah, Bill! I wanted to talk about some of the other activities that we're involved with. We work with the uh, Midtown Music Series at Dual Citizen Brewing Company. I forgot Todd. I, I forgot the biggest member of the board. Todd is a, our treasurer, and he's been with us uh, at least a year and a half, something like that. Yeah, and uh, as I said, he's our treasurer and bookkeeper. Uh, make sure that we don't uh, get in trouble financially. I hope. <laughs> yeah, other than that, otherwise the other officers go to jail. But I'll bring you cigarettes, Steve. <laughs> Just what I mean. So Todd also does a lot of other functions for us as far as transporting equipment. Uh, he has a side business of putting on a light, sound and light show. Is that correct? Years ago, I don't do that. Anymore. Don't do that anymore. Oh well, I'm behind the times. All right, thank you, Todd. Back to business. We uh, have been working with the Midtown Music Series at Dual Citizen Brewing Company that came out of the Lower Town Blues Fest over the years, and they could no longer hold it in Lower Town, uh, so Mears Park in Lower Town, so they moved it to the Midtown area, Dual Citizen Brewing Company right on University Avenue and uh, Raymond Avenue, and they do some events during the summer. The big event is uh, an all-day Blues Fest in July. Uh, we've also worked with uh, Keystone Community Services as a heritage musical series, and their next event is Thursday, December 7th at 6.30 with the Ray Bernard Band. The event we have is Sunday, December 10th in Rochester at Brothers Bar and Grill. Uh, there's a Road to Memphis fundraiser for Jimmy and the Band of Souls. On so Sunday, January 7th is our last fundraiser for Road to Memphis, and that will be at the Blue Saloon. That's going to be a big event. We're going to have the two bands that went to Memphis this year and the two fans for next year. So we have Josh Quinn, Meodora, and Scott Graves, uh, Jimmy and the Band of Souls, and Jay Walter and the Rectifiers. We will have a pig sale, a 50-50 raffle, and a silent auction. We have a special silent auction item this year. Uh, one of our members has a little resort in the Grill, Jamaica, and he is offering a stay at that Jamaican resort as, as one of our silent auction items. Uh, I don't know if you know where the grill is. It's right on the west coast of Jamaica. And uh, the big tourist area is it's Kingston, which is on the far east side of the island. So that will be interesting. There will be plenty of other silent auction items. And uh, if you want to donate something to that silent auction, you can contact me or Barry or Sue or Bridget. We'll be collecting items. If you're going to bring something just on the day of the event, 
please call ahead. Let us know what you're bringing so that we can plan for it. And uh, we can make up uh, bid sheets and things like that ahead of time so we reduce the confusion on the day of the event. And bring a lot of cash. Bring a lot bring of cash. cash. Oh, I also want to mention that uh, that event will be very interesting. Uh, Harold has hosted that event for us for many years, and he wanted to pull away from that. So Aaron McCauley will be our MC on that day. That should make a lot more fun. Uh, people ask me uh, who is going to be going to Memphis uh, from the Blue Society in January, and I really haven't talked to that many people who are going, but I believe we have a sign-up sheet on our table asking people if they're going to be going, please sign up on that sheet. Let us know if you're driving, because some people uh, need rides to and from the airport uh, when they fly down there. and. Uh, they would appreciate some help if, if someone else in the Blue Society could give them a ride back and forth. Uh, no. <laughs> well, the one last thing I wanted to talk about is our official photographer for the Blue Society right now is Ian Gibbs. Sitting right there. And he has uh, been a photographer at several of our events, including our Hall of Fame and our last Road to Memphis fundraiser. He also has a website, www.iangibbsphoto.com. He has galleries of photos from our events, and some of them are just phenomenal. He really captures the essence of the moment. He is also the photographer for KJ's Hideaway, and he does a lot of other music events, and boy, you really want to look at some of his photos. They're like nothing else. He makes you look good, Steve. He makes me look good. Yeah, thank you, Barry. I meant me. Now, I would like to open the floor to questions, if anyone has any questions about what the Blue Society does, or what I've done to the Blue Society. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes. 